community members who would like to pay their respects are being encouraged to line the streets of downtown Lee and Lenox as the procession makes its way into Pittsfield. Our news today, ABC's Anthony Kralikowski joining us live outside the Taconic High School. That's where the staff sergeant, uh, it was his alma mater. Uh, and again, he has more now on how the community is remembering him. Anthony. John and Lydia, we're here outside the Taconic High School waiting for that procession, and it is on its way. Right now, the parking lot here is filling up. Some people are waiting outside their cars. The school community is waiting for the remains of Sergeant Jacob Gallagher. Their flag is at half staff. The procession is expected to arrive in Pittsfield at Staff Sergeant Gallagher's alma mater, Taconic High School, around 545. Before that, it will pass through Lee, Massachusetts, which is about 12 miles away. Community members have been told they can gather to pay their respects in these two locations before the procession ends at the Dairy Funeral Home on Bradford Street. Before his remains arrived back home, the family released a statement saying, quote, Jacob was the light of our lives and we want him to be honored and remembered the way those who loved him will remember him. As a smiling, happy, loving man, always willing to put family, friends, and teammates above all. We are heartbroken at his loss, but determined to ensure his young sons and our entire community never forget the deep, lasting impact of Jake's life. We ask for your prayers and privacy as we work through the difficult days ahead. The Pittsfield Fire Department will be one of five agencies escorting Staff Sergeant Gallagher's remains along the route that was selected by his family. Earlier this month, we spoke with Fire Captain Jim Zeter, who coached Gallagher before he joined the Air Force. He recalled fond memories and qualities that made the young man stand out. A great kid, a leader, a quiet leader, a great mentor to the young kids uh, when, he, when he got older, a hard worker, extremely hard worker, on and off the field. It's devastating to see, especially when you're that close to him, when, you, when I've known him, you know, for, when I coached him and known him for that four, five, six years. Next week, there will be a wake in Dalton on Tuesday afternoon, followed by a funeral on Wednesday morning at St. Agnes Catholic Community. Again, the procession is set to arrive here at 545. Stay with us here at News 10, both on air and online, as we continue to follow the procession. Reporting live out of Pittsfield, Massachusetts, Anthony Krolikowski, News 10, ABC.